What's going on, everyone? Uh, I am back here with another unboxing video for you guys today. Uh, and today, I'm going to be unboxing the PlayStation 4 console. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. So, on the front here, we have the PS4 console itself with the DualShock 4 controller. PS4 logo, Sony logo. Um, and by the way, this is the jet black version. I'm not exactly sure if there's any other co uh, color variations, uh, but this is the jet black, for those wondering. Uh, then over here, uh, we have, this is a 500 gigabyte capacity, by the way, uh, and for s most people that may be enough uh, storage space, but for me, uh, personally, that's not going to be enough, uh, so uh, I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive in a, in a later video, so I'll be posting a video of how to upgrade your guys' PS4 hard drive. Uh, anyway, so moving on. <clears throat> on the top here, we have a PS4 logo, another Sony logo, cool little uh, grab handle, another 500 gigabyte icon there. Uh, right here, we have a PS4 logo again, Sony logo, everything like that. Moving to the back, uh, we get a bunch more info <clears throat> about games and everything like that. Uh, so the games basically that it's promoting is Assassin's Creed, Knack, Killzone, Shadowfall, Watch Dogs, and Infamous Second Son. So that's pretty cool. But the unfortunate thing is that these two games right here, Watch Dogs and Infam Infamous Second Son, are both not going to be coming out uh, till next year. Uh, which is really unfortunate. Unfor uh, so I, I was really actually hoping it was going to come out before Christmas time so I could get it and check it out and play it. But, unfortunately, that did not happen. But, so anyway, moving on. We got PlayStation Plus, the best place to play online. Watch, play, stream your content on your digital entertainment. Through all three of your main Sony consoles. Uh, and for those of you also wondering... Uh, excuse me. Uh, this console, the PS4, actually, you are going to need a subscription to PlayStation Plus to be able to play with your friends uh, in online multiplayer. Now, you don't have to purchase PlayStation Plus, but I recommend doing so because if you don't, there's a lot of features that won't work. It's kind of a bummer. It's, there, Sony's basically done uh, what Microsoft has done with Xbox Live. But the perk here, though, is if you choose not to purchase the PlayStation Plus, uh, you, of course, won't have online multiplayer. But yeah, uh, you will have access to Netflix, chat features, uh, voice chat, uh, viewing your friends, all that good stuff, and access to the PlayStation Store as well. So, be aware that, yeah, you do get most of the features, but you do have to have that for online multiplayer. So keep that in mind when purchasing uh, this console. Uh, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get into the box. i to flip it back this way. Let's go ahead and break this tab here. All right, open it up, and there's the PS4 console itself right there, pretty nice looking. Uh, and over here, this is pretty cool, we have our special offers from Sony, uh, and I'm not going to open this because this contains codes for redeemable content, uh, and that redeemable content is a 30-day uh, free trial of PlayStation Plus, a 30-day free trial of Music Unlimited, as well as ten dollar uh, cr store credit for the PlayStation Store to use on whatever you would like, so that is really really nice. And this is a limited time, so if you want to take advantage of this cool offer, uh, you'd have to pick up your PS4. I'd say now, uh, because this is something that's not going to last forever. So if you want to get this cool little offer here, I'd suggest getting your PS4 right now. Anyway, next we have our documentation. Uh, welcome to the world of PlayStation. Uh, your quick start guide, warranty guide, all that good stuff. I'm not going to open that because I don't need you guys to get the point. Okay, now, with all the literature out of the way, let's go ahead and move to here. Uh, and so next up, we have our DualShock 4 controller. So let me go ahead and take it out of the plastic. So, here it is. Here's the DualShock 4. Uh, it looks very, very nice from first impressions. 
uh, and it is supposedly much better than the DualShock 3, and actually holding it for the first time, I can tell it's going to be much better than DualShock 3. So, yeah, really, really nice improvement to the <coughs> uh, controller here. Uh, but I'll get in more detail on this uh, in just a minute, uh, later in the video. Uh, so, moving on, we have a little compartment here. Let me go ahead and actually take this up out of here. Get it. There we go. Okay. First thing uh, we have is the mono headset. So you can chat with your friends online uh, and in the cross game chat, which is actually new to the PlayStation 4 and actually PlayStation in general. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so next up, we have the uh, micro USB cable to charge your controller. So that's pretty cool that Sony includes that as well. So you don't have to go out and purchase a separate one. Uh, next up, we have our uh, power cable, which standard power cable. There's no power brick uh, involved here, just like the PS3 was. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and lastly, we have our bundled HDMI cable. Uh, it's very nice that Sony's doing this. Um, I'm glad companies are starting to do this and... Uh, package HDMI cables in with their consoles and systems, so it's really nice. I'm glad Sony's doing that. Let's put that back. Now it won't go back. Oh well, I'll just put it right there. Anyway, let's get on to the PS4 system itself. There we go. Get that out of the way. Okay. So here is the PS4 uh, console, so let's go ahead and take these cardboard cutouts off here and let's go ahead and unwrap it and there it is ladies and gentlemen the PS4 uh, from first glance this thing looks absolutely pristine uh, it is really nice looking I am really liking the ergonomic square uh, design here uh, but anyway uh, yeah Really, really nice console. Uh, so let's give a quick hardware tour. Uh, you have your Blu-ray slot loading drive here for your games and movies. It's already getting hair, fuzz, and fingerprints on there. Kind of bummer. Uh, anyway, then to the right-hand side, we have two USB 3.0 ports for high-speed data transfer. But at the moment, Sony's not supporting uh, external media, which is kind of annoying. But I hope that they add that feature in a later system update. Uh, next up, we have our PS4 logo there, and these uh, the buttons here actually on the front are touch capacitive, so you have a touch capacitive uh, eject button and a touch capacitive uh, power button. Very nice. And then on the top here, you have an LED light strip, uh, which will turn different colors according to the system state. So when you first turn it on, it'll pulsate a blue uh, color, and then when it's on and idle, it'll be white, and then when it's in standby mode, it'll be an amber-orange color. Uh, so moving to this side, uh, we have nothing, just some vents along the side. Uh, and then right here on the back, we have our inputs and outputs. So starting here, we have our digital optical out, uh, which is used for surround sound uh, and audio systems and all that good stuff. Uh, next, we have our HDMI. Ethernet port, and then our auxiliary port, which is specifically reserved for the PlayStation camera. And then we have our power connector. On this side, we have vents, just like the other side. And on the bottom, we have nothing but a PS4 logo and a couple rubber feet to keep it from sliding around. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it of the hardware. And um, for those of you wondering where you upgrade uh, the hard drive, uh, you would slide off this uh, glossy panel here and that'll reveal the hard drive. Uh, and you just take out one screw and that'll let you slide out the old hard drive, pop in the new one, and you're good to go. And then you, of course, have to reinstall the system software. But that's not a big deal. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, uh, I'll be making a separate video on how to upgrade your PS4 hard drive, which will be coming within the next day or so. 
So anyway, let's give a quick look at the uh, excuse me, um, DualShock 4 controller. Uh, so the sticks on the side here are actually much longer than the DualShock 3, so it's going to be much easier to grasp and hold in your hand. And then you have the newly improved analog sticks, which are more recessed, so your thumb does not slip out, which is really nice. And then we have our standard directional D-pad, which actually feels more clicky and responsive. Uh, with our standard X square triangle circle. And then right here we have our PlayStation button. Uh, which is really heavily used throughout the entire uh, system. It's used as the home button, multitasking button, uh, and just general overall system or core system functionality. Uh, then we have a excuse me, a little speaker, a uh, excuse me, a mind blank, um, capacitive touchpad, uh, which is also a clickable button. And then we have the infamous share button. Uh, which is also used to share uh, pictures and video to your uh, social network sites like Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and then you also can live stream to Twitch or Ustream. And then we have the options button, which you can just use for overall function and getting quick access to certain things in your game or system software. And then moving to the back here, we have our trigger buttons, which feel much more responsive, L2 and R2. Uh, and then we have L1 and R1 as well, which feels great. And then we have our micro USB port for charging. The light bar, which changed colors accordingly, and it uses in conjunction with the PlayStation camera. And everything like that. So I'll be actually doing a comparison of the DualShock 4 and the PS4 to the PS3 system and the DualShock 3. So stay tuned for that video as well. So, but anyway, that's pretty much it of this unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, comment below. I'll get back to your questions as soon as I can. Uh, thumbs up the video, always appreciate it. And comment below if you have any questions. I already said that, sorry. Subscribe below if you have uh, enjoyed the video. And yes, hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.